Doesn't look like any snow continued to pour in today, although the cold is still here. And what's going on today? It's kind of interesting reading this one where a lot of people are normally afraid of people spying on them with their drones or recreational ones, but it's always usually from what I'm reading here, officials basically doing things, for example, I guess you could say monitoring people and all that. How about this one? This one says, US Air Force is giving military drones the ability to recognize faces. The US Air Force has completed a project to develop face recognition software for autonomous drones, sparking concerns that individuals could be targeted and killed. The US Air Force can now equip autonomous drones with face recognition technology, raising fears that they could be used to find and kill specified people. The drones will be employed by special operations forces for intelligence gathering and for missions in foreign countries, according to a contract between the Department of Defense and Seattle-based firm Real Networks. The company's software, based on machine learning, is designed to work on a drone that is piloting itself. I mean, they say a real network, so it makes me think, is it that company way back that used to make streaming video software? And I guess this is the report here saying, implement face recognition on autonomous SUAS for identification and intelligence gathering. And according to this, it says, through this effort, we will adapt the SAFR facial recognition platform for deployment on an autonomous SUAS for special ops, ISR, and other expeditionary use cases. This will require integrating the SAFR software with the hardware and software stack of the SUAS including its onboard compute, communication system, and remote control software to enable operation and DIL communication settings, support actionable insight for remote human operators, and open the opportunity for real-time autonomous response by the robot. So it makes you wonder, how soon will you see stuff like this on, let's just say, a regular police drone, where they're just flying around, monitoring everything, trying to detect, I guess, specific people? Is it going too far, or is that just the way it's going to be? This one sounded interesting too. It dealt with military drones again by the sounds of it. It says here, Spanish Army used Roboticans rooster hybrid drone system to scan and clear buildings in military exercise. Roboticans hybrid drone system, the Rooster, successfully performed a building scan and clear mission for the Spanish Armed Forces during an exercise that simulated a hostile urban environment, efficiently providing vital information and real-time video for intelligence assessment. Almost reminds me of those cave exploration drones I've seen. And it says the SPF company scanned and cleared the buildings as part of a breaching maneuver to penetrate the compound while keeping forces out of harm's way. While the company physically secured the bottom floor, the rooster, controlled by a robotic and operator, located two kilometers away, scanned the upper floors and relayed real-time intelligence to the forces on the ground. In a second scenario, the team deployed the rooster through a hole in the building's roof and scanned the building while the company waited for the signal to begin its assault. That's pretty good, I guess, in terms of being that far away and still being able to control it and all that. And it says the Rooster is a revolutionary, safe, and easy to operate hybrid system for indoor and underground unmanned reconnaissance missions. The combination of ground robotics and drone capabilities provide a rapidly deployable platform with the long endurance capabilities to support indoor missions. So definitely a lot more innovation when it comes to things like drone hardware, not meant for consumer use as you can see, but I wouldn't doubt it'll trickle down eventually in terms of people using something like this, in terms of these types of, I guess, caged drones. I still remember those videos where people envision in the future, you'll have a drone, let's just say, on your desk and you can just dump it out the window afterwards, it'll deliver it just like mail per se. I can easily see that happening, I guess, with these types of drones anyways.
Alright, see you guys later.